ritual, baby. Oh wow, there's actually still a lot more guys here. And I picked up a thing that we didn't get to listen to because I immediately succeeded in the thing I was doing. Level 37, this is good. Look, more hidden footprints. No shit. Oh. Yeah, I guess these are leading us directly where we need to go. Well, they did stop there. Oh, nope, there they are. Kind of going in and out. Um, probably like right over there that I need to actually head to. There's a cool... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a pretty cool... Uh, event later on. Yay! Level up explosion. There's a really cool event that involves a necromancer that's the apprentice of the guy that was in the second game. Um, it's in the Dalgar Oasis, which is later on in the game. Uh, after fighting the first... Uh, the mini-boss of the act, I guess, who is... Spoiler alert. Um, that is impossible. But uh, I hope we get it, because it, it does show up pretty randomly. Like, everything kind of shows up pretty randomly. But I hope we get it, because it's actually a really cool one. You actually get to see some Necromancer skills kind of adapted to the next gen. You get to see him use some, like, fear and damage amplify skills, and he has a couple summoned skeletons following him. It's pretty cool. Burn him down, burn him down, burn him down! I feel like that was a waste of rain of arrows. There aren't too many guys around here. Because it does, it doesn't just hit a single enemy when it does that. It hits any enemy in that circle. So it homes in on an enemy, and if it's in a group of enemies, it does even more damage. Look, so it's kind of an... Well, it's not kind of, it is an all-around great skill to use. with the homing arrows. And I'm sure we'll get better arrows, like we'll get arrows that freeze or chill or, you know, do something nuts like that later on. Or it'll decrease the cooldown. If it decreases, keep a constant field of, uh, or a constant arrow rain going, that would be awesome. That would make it so much easier. And there's where I need to go. Let's look at my skills really quick. Ooh, I got a new bola thing. Freezing fire. Multiple shots of cold that freeze and no longer explode. That's interesting. We can take that. This is one of the cultist lairs. Huh. They are casting part of the illusion inside. That is interesting. It, uh... Kind of fires like a... Like a shotgun blast here. The ritual is disrupted. I don't uh, don't necessarily like the randomness of the shots. So I think we're actually to hatred generation. There, that will dispel the coven's magic. Let us go to the a bloated corpse. Oh no! I owe you my life. Bless you. Yeah, I'm happy to help bros and broettes. Alright, let's see. Now that we're sitting here in this creepy dark gin, I think we're actually going to take a quick break. Uh, probably about two minutes here, so please bear with me. Is this your first time in Kedjistan? Yes. I rarely ventured beyond the bounds of Westmarch in my younger years. After the Order took me in, I had little need to travel.
All right, hey everybody, I am back. Thanks for bearing with me here, and we are going to continue on. Let's see if there's anything we can uh, upgrade here. Hopefully there is. We can also do a little salvage here. Uh, get rid of that puzzle ring. We don't need it right now. And let's look at things we can equip. It would probably help if I trained him up to the next level here. There we go. That'll keep me in items that I can equip here for a little while longer. Uh, let's look at the armor. Level 36. That should uh, increase our output quite a bit. Yeah, that's not bad. Alright, what next? What next, what next? Mm. Level 32 jacket should be a good... Uh... Yep. That works. Uh, we're not replacing that yet, just because I don't think we have any other real rubies we can socket in there right now. And to me, keeping that... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Keeping that experience boost is more important than stats. Uh, we'll equip that. And there's a couple upgrades for us. Anyways, equipping... It, Equi keeping, there we go, words. Keeping that experience boost to me is more important hey, than extra stats I may be able to get. I will kill her master Belial and his brother Asmodan. The long shadows of the lords of hell will be lifted from this world. Here we go. How curious. You must be the one I was meant to find here. You were meant to find me, girl. Us chicks need to stick together. Yo, vagina squad for life. I don't know if that's a thing, but if it's not a thing, I'm going to make it a thing. I'm going to use all my money to make a goofy 1970s kind of spoof exploitation show movie about a bunch of chicks going around called the Vagina Squad. And it'll basically be Charlie's Angels, but with time for you to know my a true slightly true. misogynist name. I am not from Chaldeum. Why not? I learned Sounds funny, right? You'd watch it. Ago. My sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained mm, us coffee is and the best. Us in a Not as good as water, but still the best. This era. Water is the best. The Lords of Hell Drink water, invading. kids. I would scarcely believe it if I hadn't seen your spell. Body needs about two eyes. gallons a day. You Drink must it. Have waited for this even longer than I have. Please, Are you too busy, busy drinking soda and shit? Yeah, that's. It's not good for you. Drink, drink water. Water's much. Ooh! God damn! Get into heavy hitting shit. The Kasim outpost can't be. Found. Actually, a faster attack with the hatred generation on the bullet shots would actually be much better for this character. But fuck it. Man, I am still not used to the skill set of this fucking demon hunter. It doesn't help that I play, I don't play this character exclusively. Character exclusively for a while, then I would do, I would do much better overall. Just because then the, the skills that I'm using would be, you know, the only skills I'd have to remember. Whereas I have to remember, you know, because I keep jumping between them, I have to remember Crusader skills, I have to remember goddamn Barbarian skills, Witch Doctor skills. And I guess if I used elective mode, I could kind of set them all up to be remotely the same. Where A does, you know, this specific attack, and B does this. You know what I mean. But, I don't know. I feel like elective mode kind of muddies it up. Because it gives you a lot more options in how you customize your character. So technically it's a great thing, but I kind of really like the way they have the uh, skills and attacks set up. Uh, in order to, or how you map them to the controller is pretty cool to me, so, I don't know. Like, once I hit level 70 and I start, like, seriously fucking around trying to maximize damage output, that's when I switch over to elective mode so that I can do, like, focus swarm. Like, ridiculous one-person damage at once. What drives these cultists to commit these terrible deeds? 
but for leveling, I use the skill, to, uh, you know, the skills that are set to the specific, uh, or this, did I not, oh my god, I didn't have a, uh, a quiver equipped, we actually need to go into town and do that. Anyways, when I'm leveling, before I hit level 70 and I start experimenting, I use the, uh, the regular mappings, just because it's... It gives you... Fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Destroyer's Quiver doesn't give me shit. It gives you options for attack and defense that help you out in the long run. Ah, there we go. Much better than much better than an elective mode where you can kind of maximize attack or defense or whatever. Uh, really can. It makes your character more well-rounded for a single-player experience. Whereas once you switch to elective mode, you're like switching to elective mode specifically so that you can. And he needs better, or he needs a better weapon here. You switch it over specifically so that you can specialize your character more for multiplayer shit. When you're running like hardcore, you do not necessarily want a specialized character. Once you get once you get your health and regen so high from items, it's kind of worth it to switch over. But I don't know. I guess I'm scared. I'm a pussy. Let me go with the misogyny again. Sorry, ladies. Nothing up here? Nothing up here. Well, you can kind of see dudes over there. Oh man, they can't hit him though. Like, I got their health bar on my screen, but I can't make my way up there yet. Oh, Jesus Christ! The fact that they're not coming to me is good, but those are gonna be bad. Those are gonna be bad. Not ready yet. Nope. Nope, gotta get out of there. Gotta get away. Those little needle wasp attacks are actually pretty devastating if you sit there and take them. Especially if they have some sort of... Oh, they are illusionists as well. There's a cool little skill swap from uh, uh, StarCraft. Because in StarCraft you have the High Templar, which have the hallucination ability. So giving it to an natural cool way to kind of mesh all the what's the damn word I'm looking for seems like a natural cool way to kind of mesh all the blizzard stuff together there's nothing Who's in there? here please don't eat me oh that sounds like an adorable little girl